Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We are coming to you live. If you don't recognize where we are, we are at the Reading Famous Damburger, which has been in our town since 1938. And I am here with the owner, Julie. So, Julie, I know your family has an amazing story about this business. Tell us about Damburger. Uh, so, like you said, damburger has been here since 1938. Um, our family bought it in 1979, and uh, my sister and I have taken it over from our parents. So, we've had the business in our family for over 40 years, and um, we feel very honored to have such an iconic and historical place and a place where families and friends and colleagues get together and enjoy a good burger. Awesome. So as you guys know, we are obviously standing outside. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of construction and stuff going on downtown. So we are passing the mic back and forth. Uh, but Julie, I know um, you were talking about, you know, your your repeat customers and really what Damburger is to this town more so than it's, you know, more than just a restaurant. So talk to us a little bit about that. Sure. Um so, like I said, um, Dam with Damburger being around for so long, we literally have multiple generations of families eating here. And um, over the years, you just you get to know all these families. You see them come together at holiday times. Um, they celebrate big family moments here. Um, you know, businesses get together to have business lunches here. Um, we've had multiple high school reunions here. I mean, Damburger just feels like a gathering place for our community. And um, that's really important to us. And, and obviously, everything that's been going on in the several past several months has been, has been hard. I and mean, we're really happy to have our, our lovely outdoor seating. Um, it helps a lot. Um, but to be open indoor right now is really tough because we just don't have the space and we can't make it that um, community feeling. Um, there's just too many restrictions. So, but for now, we're really happy to, to have what we have. We feel very fortunate. Awesome. So um, I know so I was born and raised here. A lot of you know that. Um, I also eat eight times a day. I know technically it's Taco Tuesday, but I think every day is Cheeseburger Day. And a friend of mine recently brought me to Damburger, and I had never been here before, which is amazing. I don't know how I made it so long in this town without it. But their food is so good. So tell us about your food and what it is that makes it so special that people love so much about it. Um, honestly, it's just, it's a pretty simple menu. I mean, we, you know, um, it's, it's, it's straightforward. It's burgers, it's fries, it's shakes. Uh, we have hot dogs. We have multiple vegetarian and even vegan options. Um, and, uh, I think it's just the classic way that the burger started back in 1938. Um, the patties are hand pressed with fresh meat from R and R every day and they're thin, they're well done. They have a crispy edge. They have amazing flavor. But you know, some people don't like that. So we've got we've got other options. We've got thicker burgers for people who want the more traditional, thicker, you know, cooked a little bit less burger and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, you cannot go wrong with a double damn cheeseburger. It is just really good. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. So, obviously, with your small indoor space and the restrictions that have been put into place, I know that COVID has just been hard for every business, but tell us what it's looked like for the last couple of months for you and your employees and how that's affected you guys. Yeah, um, it's, 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 <laughs> it's been a journey. Um, in the very beginning, it was chaotic. It was day by day, you know, the re you know the requirements changing, and it was stressful, and we just had no idea it was coming. But uh, we did shut down for a while to kind of just see what was going to happen. And then uh, when we reopened, we followed all the state guidelines and local guidelines as to operate safely. And it's it's important to us that we protect our community. I mean, you just it's just not worth, you know, it's not worth any, you know, um, life. To, to not do what we can do. And uh, we found a method that works for us. Um, we we're lucky. I mean, Damburger is it's great as takeout food. Um, it's quick, it's easy. And we already had this great outdoor patio. So that incorporating the outdoor seating was very easy. And um, we've kind of, we've all kind of gotten used to the new, to new way of doing things. Um, we got a good flow. I've got a solid crew. They are they're, they're hardworking and they're flexible and they've just been kind of going with it. So, you know, we're sticking it out. damburger has been here for over 80 years. So, you know, we're going to keep on going. Awesome. So I know that um, we've heard so many stories through doing these videos and just to the different businesses that are in this area that it's, it's a huge impact on them when they have to make drastic changes and 
and there's the uncertainty that comes with that and you know these businesses that have been doing business for so long and have to make really big changes in order to accommodate and I love the stance that they take on safety and on caring about the community and putting that first and this is definitely a business that we want to see thrive in our area I mean it's so rare for a restaurant to be in a town for so long. I mean, to open in 1938 and then be serving the community still after all that time is really an incredible thing. So um, right now, you got, they are not doing the indoor dining, but they do have online ordering. You can call in your order as well. You can do delivery through Entree Express, or you can pick up your order here. And I know they have parking. Parking's always a concern downtown these days, but they do have parking right outside. So, Julie, for someone that has never tried Dan Burger, I know you mentioned a burger earlier, but tell them what they need to order their first time here. <laughs> um, well, I I am always been partial to the to the double Dan Burger with extra cheese. I can't eat like that anymore. But um, if it's your first time, I think it's a really good balance of of meat and condiments and bun and everything. But honestly, everything's really good. If you're a light eater, the single damburger will do the trick. If you like a, a big thick burger, go for the Helen. That one's our thick patty. Um, honestly, they're all really good. And we have, we have um, dedicated vegetarian customers too that love all of our veggie options. So uh, we feel like we have a, a, good, a good variety for, for all eating types, so. Okay. And I do have to throw in there, too, that you have to get the fry sauce with your fries. So, like, world-famous fry sauce at Dan Burger. So, again, they are located at 1320 Placer Street. Plenty of parking on the street for when you come in to pick up your order. Hopefully we'll see their inside dining open up soon. But they've got a great outdoor space, so you can still meet your friends down here for lunch. They are open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 4, and you can call in your order at 2410136, or you can place it online at danburger.net. We've tagged their Facebook page. Please follow them. Please share this video. I mean, Dan Burger is just such a historic tradition in this town, and so we would love to see them flooded with business. Julie says she has an amazing crew of hardworking workers, so let's make them work hard. Um, but definitely call in your order, or you can come down and you can place your order here in person as well. If you are placing your order to go, you can pick it up and pay at their outside window, so you don't even have to worry about going inside. So they've done everything they can to make it easy, make it safe, and continue serving our community. So again, it's Dan Burger. Follow them on Facebook, danburger.net to place your order online, 2410136 to call in your order, and 1320 Placer Street. Follow them on Facebook. Share this. I know I just repeated some of that. I think I hit it all, though. I think you did. I think I got it. Okay. So make sure you support them, you guys. We just really love to see these videos go viral, see the support of our local businesses. I know there's a little bit of fatigue in our community because we've been dealing with this for a really long time. But I cannot stress to you enough the importance of continuing to support these businesses, continuing to share their stories, and this one is an incredible one, and making sure that they're in our community for a long time to stay. They've got a lot of recovery, a lot of time to make up from. And so let's keep Dan Burger super busy. Get that hardworking crew going down here. Call in your order, place it online, follow them on Facebook, share this video. Julie, thank you so much for having us out. They are getting ready to open at 11, so you guys can just head on down now. And hopefully they will see you soon. You guys, thank you so much for all your support of the local businesses. I know it means the world to them. We've gotten amazing feedback from businesses that, after you sharing their videos and supporting them, have had some of their busiest weeks that they've had during this whole pandemic. And that's just such an incredible testimony to our community and to what you do to support local businesses. So thank you again. Julie, thank you for having us. And we will see you guys tomorrow.